getting ready to put some screen on that one window I have ready for it. Uh, the background noise you hear, it's raining, got a thunderstorm coming through. So I have to cut my material 40 inches by 40 inches. So what I'm going to do, I know this is 48 inches. So I'm going to move that over out of the way. I'm going to mark over here 40 inches. No, this is where I need to cut it. But I have to measure each time. And since it's longer, I'll add an extension to it. And that's where I need to cut it. It gives me a little overlap. I can trim it down to size. Set it away. Okay. If I don't say that enough, I have to talk a little louder. I'm trying to get a mic for this, one that actually picks up really well from a short distance. Uh, I haven't got one yet. I have a couple corded mics and they don't work that well either. Lapel mics. So if anybody has a good foam mic that works. Alright, so now I'm gonna just lay this out. Mark up the line here. And even with the corners, or the edges I should say. Now I know it's pretty square. Just like so. And I'm gonna cut it. Stay on my line if I can. All right, let's set this aside temporarily. I have two that are 40 by 40, and then I'll have one 40 by a lot longer. It's the back window. I've got to go measure that to get that piece cut. So I'll have three actual pieces, and I'll have plenty left over to uh, make up a screen for the, uh, the entry door. Alright, this is our second cut. And again, by having this line, I don't have to worry about measuring. Don't know what I'll use this for, but save it for now. All right, and there's my 40 by 40. The next step will be getting the frame ready, the outside frame, getting that ready with the uh, Velcro, and I'll show you how I'm doing that to make sure it sticks. All right, I'm on plan B of putting on screens and uh, plan A didn't work out so well. It did in the small scale. When I scaled it up to full size, it just just didn't work. I'll go through that with you and show you what I did and what I'm doing now. Uh, well, part of half of plan A worked, but not all of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. I've got to do the back window and I've got to do the other side window. That's if plan B works. You know, sometimes plan A just doesn't work. Sometimes plan B doesn't work. But you can't give up. You got to keep, keep trying. Even if you get to plan Z, as long as you keep trying. But I think plan B is going to work. I did a small sample and it, uh, it's much better than plan A stickiness wise. All right, I'll get back to you as soon as I get uh, this checked out tomorrow. I'm gonna leave it like this till tomorrow. And all that red is just a, a silicone tape. Off, oh, it's a double-sided, double sticky-sided foam tape under it. So I'll come back with probably some uh, 
electrical tape because it'll be sticky when I pull that off. All right, I'll get back with you. All right, here's my screen test. No pun intended. First, I lay down some industrial strength foam double stick tape. That stuff sticks to anything and everything. Then I put on the smooth part. And as you can see, I can't, can't even get that off. Then what I did is took the loop part and attached it to the screen and then covered it with silicone so it would encapsulate the screen. That was plan A. And right here, no matter how hard you press it, it works pretty good. But in full size, it didn't work. It's separated from the, uh, which it's doing right now, as you can see. It's separated from the, uh, the silicone. So plan B, doing the same thing, of course, except the black uh, Velcro. I did the same thing, except I used two strips, wherever it may be. On the loop side, you probably can't see it but there's two strips of this material. And the reason I had two strips is because I ordered the wrong width, but I kind of like it because I can go around the corners in one piece. One, it makes one solid connection. And I put this on the back of the Velcro and then placed it on the screen. Then I flip the screen over and put two more rows over top of those rows and then pushed it together so that the screen would be sandwiched between two layers of this. And this stuff is super, super sticky. Let's see if I can get it folded over. Once you fold it together, you're not getting it apart. Like so. Now I can't get those two apart. So what that does, that encapsulates the screen. So we'll, then I come back with electrical tape to cover up this side of that tape that's sticky. So you don't have to worry about getting them kind of messy. And this is the sandwich you come up with. And so far, I let it set overnight on the window and pulled it off this morning with no problems. Let's get some sun and some heat, and let's go take a quick look at that. Here is the screen attached, and as you can see, it looks pretty good all the way around. The only thing I've seen so far is these corners wanting to lift a little bit, but that's because there's tension on the electrical tape when you go around the corner, you stretch it just a little bit. So I'm hoping the heat will take that uh, memory out. But otherwise, not a problem. Quick and easy. I mean, it takes a little time. And you just pull it into place. And it's done. So when I want to lock the windows, which locks right here, I just pull that up to here. Pull in the, the support. Lock it down. Put the screen back down. And... If I ever want to take the reflectix out, all I have to do is pull the screen down about halfway and I can pull that reflectix right out. And when I put it back in, just take the screen off three quarters of the way. So that's the passenger side. So I still got the back window here and I've still got 
this window right here. So I'm going to do this window next and show you how I do it step by step. <laughs> 